Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been two weeks since I last posted a video and I do apologize, but we're going to be playing a new series on my channel called The Walking Dead. If you know the TV show The Walking Dead, then I'm pretty sure you know about the game, but if you don't, we're going to play it today. So we're going to be playing episode one, A New Day. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe for my social media links down below. Without further ado, let's go on to the video. Episode one, A New Day. I hope this ain't loud. Oh, typical black guy in the back of the car of a cop car. What else is new? What do I do now? Are we doing a staring contest? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. What I do? Why you say that? You know, you know what they say about reckoning. Does it really matter? Why you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually, it's about now I get the I didn't do it. And what do you say? Not from me. Anytime. I mean, every time. <laughs> and what do you say? I say, yep. I know you did. Ooh, look at the move on. Now aim at the target and review me. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then? So you got an opinion? What do you think? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. What the hell? Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. <gasps> it's a gun. Get it. Oh, I forgot I'm handcuffed. <laughs> Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Ooh. You meet your wife in Athens? Oh! Okay, so I'm married, but I'm you going to jail. You know how I see it? Ooh. I got much choice? Sure don't. Could be you just married the wrong woman. What's that supposed to mean? Or she married the wrong guy? Fuck you. Could be. Could be I did. I ain't got no comment. <sighs> like, like, what? What is it supposed to mean? You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. We got helicopters out here. What the hell is going on? Jesus. All right, so now what? How I get out of here? I can't escape the car? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're All sitting. Officers are available for him coming to one what the hell going on? Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. I mean, maybe he was innocent. So did he do it? Maybe, maybe he was innocent. He was innocent. innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Oh. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Ooh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Never mind then. <laughs> I was going to defend him, but it I guess not. To show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Oh, this one's a little my bit less God, what is that? More Sir, the road! This other time Sir! What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, we are dead. <laughs> oh god, what the fuck just happened? What was down the road? Are we dead? Ooh! 
like someone getting killed. I think as long as we're in the car, I think we're safe. Oh. Jesus, what was that? And we still handcuffed. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. Oh. It's gotta hurt. Where that cop at? Ooh. Oh, sir. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? No, I'm he still cop back here. No, he ain't all right. What killed him? The car wreck? There's the gun. Why the hell did he have his gun out? It's like, it's like he was fighting for his life. Oh, we get to get, we get to escape. Do it again. Again. And again. I need to drag myself out that window. And we're handcuffed. Damn it. All right, can we move? All right, good. We can. Get out. Woohoo! That was intense. <laughs> How long have we been out here? It's like it's sunset. We might have been down here for a while. That man gone. This ominous music ain't making it no better. Get the gun first. Get the gun. Get the gun. Please have ammo in it. Please. Looks empty. Oh, come on. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. So I gotta find the key to unlock myself out of here. That's the key right there? I'm like a shotgun bullet. Okay, we got ammo, but what about the gun? Can we get the gun now? I always stay strapped. Whatever killed him ain't human. Looks empty. Get the ammo. It'll be easier to carry with these cups. All right, so take the gun. Yeah, I mean, take the keys and get get out of here. What the hell? I can't talk. Officer? Oh, my God. Sir? Sir? Oh, there's the key. Are you dead? All right. Get the key. Get out. Oh, come on. Please don't bite. Please don't bite me. I just got out of prison. Don't bite, please. <laughs> okay, we good. We good. We good. As long as you don't wake up and bite me. At least let me get unhandcuffed first. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What Officer. the hell? Oh, 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 shit. Back up. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. What in the hell? Exactly, what the hell? Oh. Get the gun, get the gun! Get away from me! Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! Shoot! Oh, come on! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh no, oh no, oh no! I'm gonna get shot! Let me do this! Shoot! Headshot! <laughs> Oh, he did dead. dead. Man. I just killed somebody. Who are you? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Is that a child? Uh, what's that noise? What the hell? It's zombies, bitch. Get out. Get that. Oh, wait. We, only, we ain't got no ammo. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad for laughing, but oh my god.
shit now. Okay, he made it. Oh god, I was worried about that. <laughs> as long as they can come over fences, we good. Yeah, go get that. I don't think I can survive an apocalypse like this, man. I'll be scared. <laughs> Where did that kid go? Hello? Anybody? Is there anybody out here? But yeah, leave a, leave a comment down below if you think you can survive this apocalypse. Let me know down in the comment section. No ladder. Getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. I mean, as long as they can't climb over the fence, I think we good. Anybody up there? Oh, you can be quiet. Don't scream. I'm filling one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! <laughs> you worried about bourbon. <laughs> Alright, so we need to find help. Somebody, something. You know what this back y'all remind me of? The Last of Us Part 1? Will we go on to uh, Bill's place? This backyard kind of looks like it a little bit. I wonder if anybody's home. I doubt it. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. All right, no more jokes. We, this is serious. We got a broken leg. We're middle of nowhere. Nobody's Somebody. here. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I think that's the Maybe last thing we should just... do. Check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Smart, smart, smart. I wonder if anybody's home. I already did that. Let's go in. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Let's go in. Coming in. I have a bad Don't feeling about shoot, this. Okay? Shit's getting real. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh, that blood? These people might need more help than I do. Exactly. This blood, we need to get out of here. Oh no, get me out. Hello? Oh, not the cheering. Oh yeah, that's a lot of blood. Oh, Jesus. The handprints too? I ain't stepping in that. Oh. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive Clementine. back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Why well, he made that face? Message two, left at 11.19. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at all right, it's getting intense. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Okay, so there is a child. Was that the child we saw outside? Clementine? Daddy? Huh? Ooh. Ain't your dad. Alright. Who said that? Somebody's in this house. 
Is she hiding in the cabinet? Oh, she has a walkie talkie. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you need to be quiet. I'm sorry. Who's talking? Are you okay? First of all, let's ask, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. They went to Savannah. They long gone. Oh, your parents, what's your name? How old are you? What's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. Okay. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. Ah, smart. smart. Yeah, smart. <laughs> see? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, She's so tiny. <laughs> the hell? What? No! What? Get, get away from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! <gasps> Shit. What? No! Back up! Back up! Oh! Damn! Run! Oh! Get back! Thank you! Okay, the kid's here! Clementine! Did baby. you kill it? Something else did. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh... Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Let's get out of here once the sun goes down. Let's look for help before it gets dark. Shit, that's when shit gets hot. Get real. I'm leaving now. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but... Wait, what I chose? Idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. I did choose to leave before nighttime, right? I'm not looking at my controller. Um... That was a bad idea. I want to leave. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I chose that. Now, let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. Look, y'all, do not listen to me when it comes to this stuff. I am not, I'm not the type of person that's going to wait till nighttime. I'm leaving, but for some odd reason, it chose to me to stay till dark. I don't know why. Oh, God. Damn. Like, yeah, do not take advice from me. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm just setting us up. I'm setting both of us up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. 
Can you at least hold a hand just in case somebody might speak? Oh. I found the bastard. What the hell? Are we going to die? Hell no. No, I'm sure we're fine. What the hell did I do? Stay down, Georgia State Patrol. Dude, oh. he won't listen to that. We're, we're friendly. friendly. There's a little girl here. <gasps> we're gonna get arrested again. Oh, shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. <laughs> it's Officer Mitchell. We could get locked up again. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Ooh. A lot in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh, shit. You hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, uh. help us find the thing that got our buddy. And we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. Shit. I'm not a dad. I'm uh her babysitter. Her babysitter. <laughs> she her looking at me. Her out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were That nigga oh, dead. Shit. It's Chad. Let's go, get to my car. Go! I ain't got no gun. I mean, shit. Oh, man. Back of a police car again. Jesus, this is why we don't leave at night. I hate myself because of that. <laughs> I don't think I'm ask questions in the car. We even on the road? <laughs> Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Oh. Take care of you two. He ain't gonna survive. You saw how fast he ran when he saw Chet? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. You just need some help. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. <sighs> Honey, do you know this man? What's that supposed to mean? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. If I wanted to hurt her, I would have been did it by now. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Ugh. Could be worse. It hurts like hell. It's not that bad. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't say my I name. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Oh, fine. Should I tell him my name? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I think we need to make allies in there. How'd this happen? Car accident. I fell. Jumped over a fence. I don't remember. Car, car accident. accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Shit. Um. 
Out of Atlanta? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. You oh, yeah, because I said I was a babysitter. Three sleeping in the barn. I was like and leaving the then. Welcome to rest there. And we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. You guys out here in the barn? Who's that up there? That's not it. It smells like manure. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss in front of her. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. We gotta protect this child. Oh, God. My first time being a parent in a game. This new. I love the baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell did you do? We hear him wet dreams. Oof. Yikes. Hey, get up. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. Oh, we making That's friends? That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or ducking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Wait, what is it? See? I said dodging the Word is, you what? were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah, we got friends. Sure, I'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. We got our own little family here. Cool. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. So let's meet our new characters. We got a woman. What's her name? Did you say her name? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, Katya. Hey there, girls. What do you do? What was this? Okay, be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. You two look... Look relaxed. How was the city? How, was How the city? did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Actually, no. Uh. Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. What do you so, do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? 
I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? Oh, man. I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. I thought this was going to ask me you personal need questions. I hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. You learned to ca catch you as a veteran. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. <laughs> I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, so she's a first grader and she's eight. Let's go meet this man. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hmm. Need, need any, help? any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I uh, think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Just How's your son doing? doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. You showed an interest in his family. All right, so it's Kenny, Katya, Clementine, Duck. Who else? Herschel, Sean, and... Duck. And there they go right there. Oh, running into a tree. So far, this is going good. So far, this needs to be better choices because it's not just me. It's about me and Clementine. So I gotta take out for both of us. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So this is Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I just want to make as much friends as possible. doesn't know how bad it is. No, it doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the Damn. kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. This is real, you don't though. fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. To shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh. Uh. My brother and parents are in Macon. I'm just gonna guess. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. 
That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. It's been getting along with everybody so far. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Ugh, all right. Do I really have to talk to him, though? Let's go talk to Herschel and see what the hell he got going on. Or not. Okay, we go this way then. Never mind. But yeah, as I was saying, we need to, I need to take more consideration of Clem, because in the end, you know, she's my responsibility. But if I make friends with Kenny and Katya and Duck, they'll probably make be an extra bonus, I guess. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Oh, shit. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Why? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar than fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh! And I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Oh, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? What the hell is that? Go! I'll get my gun. You better watch your mouth. Somebody getting ate up. <laughs> get the girl. Get the girl. Ooh! What did you do? Oh! oh. Save the kid. Save the kid first. Back off. What the hell? Save the kid. I got you. We're almost through. Now show. Get this tractor off of me. Uh, please, uh, uh, what the hell? Please. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Child, come first. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. 
Whew. Ooh, I got an achievement. What did I say? Hmm. I guess it's just us now. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Ooh. I guess I made a friend. But still, though. Saved one boy, one lost their son. Jesus. Oh, I can't be in situations like this, but I know there's like four episodes of this, so. <laughs> This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Number dead bodies over here. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. I don't think that's friendly. Ooh! Fuck! See how y'all just came out of nowhere? What the hell? Quit trapped! Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Get the boy! Jesus. Who are you? Run! She get in the house! She got that strap on her. Okay, I like that. That was so close to hit that boy get that boy get eight? He get bit, I mean. Well, he we got can't bit. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. What the hell? Ow. Worse. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. And what is it? What is it? I, yeah. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Exactly. Those things outside what don't care. What the hell care. does that thing keep Maybe you should go point. join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Uh. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. And? I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. And what? Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. Oh! No! I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Penny, what? Stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Yeah, what do we do about dad, this guy? It's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You kick his ass. You need Never to gonna touch this child. Down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. Oh. And you, shut the fuck up. Oh. They will find us. Shit. And they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turned! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad. Get it. Uh, sit down or do, else. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it's it. Son. it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna uh. kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Y'all sure is talking a lot. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. 
Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. The girl said he ain't been three and times. we're tossing him out now! Uh... No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Yes! Come on! Okay! You don't have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone Woo! else is Okay, I hear you, Lee! Who was that? <laughs> Protect Clem! Get Clem! I'm sorry, get Clem. Oh, no. Watch out, watch out! What the hell? What do you fall over? Get up. Clem! Get up, get up! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Fight him! Beat his ass! Beat his ass! I thought that was my ass! Man. Wow. <laughs> oh, good shot. You okay? Just great, thanks. Whew! That just alerted everybody. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Look at you, old bastard. That's nice. I'm not gonna make it. Shut up. Was that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. Damn. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh, Dad! Ah, ah. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Is he bit? Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. Oh. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. <sighs> we'll do it somehow. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated <laughs> guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. That'd be great. You know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now All get right. him those pills. Look, look at her face. She don't like that. So we got Doug, Carly, Lily, Larry, and who, Glenn? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What you doing? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Well, for one, do we got batteries? Check and see if we got batteries. Nothing. Got no batteries in this thing. <laughs> what? what now? 
Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. What? No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh god, we ain't gonna survive with you. How do you not know there are not batteries in there? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Huh. Mm, not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Let's check in with everybody first. So is this like his parents' place or something? Because he sure is familiar with everything in here. Let's go check on Clem first of all, because she almost got eight. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead car. <laughs> yeah, mom, dad, brother. Yeah, like elderly parents with a family, yeah. What is this, candy? I don't know what I just picked up. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Oh, y'all all right? Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, mm. Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Is Duck all right? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? Her family's dead. Ooh. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We already We've asked that. through a lot. So what's the what's plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Ugh. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? It's no use now. Where'd you say they're they gone? Uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Mm? Lee, you got a second? <laughs> sure. The attitude. What's up, Back Ken? on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We let the boy die. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. guess so. Try to let it go. <sighs> we just need to stick together. Like, for real. I need to make better choices, because this is ridiculous. Let's go check on Clem. Because I've been talking to everybody but Clint. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Where is Clint? Damnedest. I'll talk to y'all last. Clem, there she is. Hey there. Hi. Can I get you anything? Any word from Glenn? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Oh, we got I'll food. About that. What I picked up? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... What the hell? I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> we'll sit tight. Let's go okay. find her something to eat. Hopefully there's something around here. Is there any food in here? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Any food? Down here? I 
I'm just picking up stuff. What am I picking up? What am I picking up exactly? Okay, I think we got batteries and okay, we got food for two. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Can we give some to Duck? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Uh, oh yeah, let's go get the batteries to Carly while I still got them. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Good. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look <laughs> at that. Right go ahead. Did you put them in right? Let's see. Did she didn't even know there was batteries in here. Now let's try. And turn the power on. You fixed it. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? The baby urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Oh. God bless you all. You. Time to slip away. There any candy for um for what you call it? Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I can't read that. I don't remember them very well. That's, you said they're right, right in front of them. It's all melted now. Are there any snacks for the boy? Let's get one to a duck. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right. We're doing good so far. Now let's go talk to them. Is he all right? <laughs> he gonna fall over. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I okay. was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Uh, we have a child. You from here? What do you think about all this? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here, you got a temper. What do you think, what about, do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. But he does got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We got kids and family. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. <laughs> Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving. You telling people too, too many different stories. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from, here? from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. 
I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. You was, was anyone here when you guys got to the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Are those yeah, parents? I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Mm. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. All right. Oh, more candy. Should we give it to them? I'll give it to him. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. All right. So I guess we fed everybody. We got the batteries. And we checked on Duck. And we checked on Clem. So, you can go back with Doug or something? Oh, and check with Carly and who else? How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Might as well. Oh, we've got to go into the office, too. Let's have a look around. Okay. Let's just see what we're dealing with first. We surrounded. Damn, they got a town on their ass. Oh, damn. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Damn. How the fuck? What went wrong? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. So too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. Uh. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. They're I mean, Carly got a radio back there. That's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. So weapons is out of the order, out of the option. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. What's that? Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. us, huh? Be ever pharmacy. Oh shit! Is that his brother? What? Do you know that guy? No, it's just that he could be a drugstore employee. Kind of be. Has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, Doc. <laughs> so that confirms Look it. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Oh, we gotta go out there? a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <sighs> uh... Should we get out of here? We just searched that guy over there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. You have to pharmacy drugs to, you know what? How did you, How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? What's it matter? I just ended up here. I grew up here. I knew some folks here. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. So can we get out of here? 
Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. All right, then. Shit, let's go back then. Uh, wait. What's this? I can't reach that brick. Never mind. Anything else before I go in? Let's head back inside. Okay. So we're not going to at least attempt to get out of here and see if he got the keys on him? <sighs> we need to help Lillian now. Hello? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Are you okay? You handled yourself well. Are you that okay? That video sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. You don't have to be. Really? Everyone's dead. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Noticed your concern. Checking with Clem. One last time. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. The pills are in there. So this door. Are they really dead? Ooh, there's blood in here too. But I can't. I can't think about them in here. Damn. Everything seem everything okay with you? Have you heard from Glenn? Yeah. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that mm -hmm. thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, Say less. I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Oh, poor Clem. This door leads to the back alley. Ooh, first aid. Thought it blood. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Damn. It is them. Find anything? Oh. Where you come from? Uh, no, nothing. No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. God damn. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. What you trying to say? <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh... No. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Okay. Can I trust you? Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh. Is this a love connection we see in here? I mean, I don't know if I have time for a relationship. I mean, considering we can die, like, literally right now. But, okay. Our parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero. Her at least. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure Clem heard all of that, too. Is that the first aid kit again? Yep. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. So is the key on the brother or something? Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ain't gonna take the cane as a weapon? Fine. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How you doing? <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Let's just move. Uh, what do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Ah, oh, shit. All right, a little further. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna need a key. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not just complicated because they're dead. I don't blame them. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. It's okay. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I got into some trouble but kept that between us. Uh, should I be honest with her? I, um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. I didn't necessarily say I killed them. Oh, what happened? Ooh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is First aid kit. A little. I'll find you a bandage. First aid kit's over here. Oh, this poor child. I'm just sending this child off into danger. Oof. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Put a Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hopefully a small cut don't lead to infection and she turn into a zombie too. Okay. How's your finger? Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, how's your That's finger? <laughs> it's okay. Lee, thanks for fixing it. What the hell? They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. What was that? We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? 
keys are on that zombie out on the street. Okay, then, so let's go. What we... <laughs> What's in here? Nothing. That was a waste of time. You check the bed. You coming, Clem? I'm Wanna leaving. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Let's go find Lee? Doug. Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Did Kari open her mouth? Uh, what? Oh, well, never mind. What kind of That's options? Nothing. What kind of options was Let's, that? Uh, head back to the others. <laughs> this game glitching. Oh God, I'm not gonna be recording. I right, gotta find these keys so this man won't die on us and have to deal with this zombie. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This oh, is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck. Saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Oh, I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Um, Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. We do need to get in there and get that man pills. What the hell? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh. I got a remote. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. Maybe this could be a, a distraction. What's up there? That's what I figured. All right, let's go tell Doug so we can get this pill so we can get out of here and go help Glenn. Let's turn the TV on. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. Hopefully. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Mm. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Ooh, look at his face. That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Damn it. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Throw a brick? I can't reach that brick. <sighs> Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Alright. I mean, can we just go and talk to Carly? Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, as long as we're not leaving the group, I think that's all that matters. Like, leaving without them. Shit. Get down! Oh! Y'all would've got eight. Ugh, here we gotta find Glenn. Did you see that? I sure did. Shoot. Guys! Oh, oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Alright, 
It wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. <sighs> we gotta go. Now. Are you serious? Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Exactly. We got some upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. One right there. One's eating somebody. All right. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. She was ready though. Look around. Peek over the wall. will be seen okay so he's eating somebody unless we can like assassinate him <laughs> I don't know let's go over here then okay You need to find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. You got anything on y'all? Oh, yep, right there. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What's this? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting <laughs> cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Uh. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. And how the hell are we gonna get in? Alright. This might take a while. How about that? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Nice. That was sick. <laughs> mm. What's this? You have to be careful when you ride up on ramps like this. What's inside of it first? Oh, look. Anything else before I leave? Because I do not. Oh. It's a spark thing. A spark plug. You should hold on to that. That's <laughs> two. What about if I could open this door again? It's, um, it's locked. Can I use this? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, let's try. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> okay. We got whiffy. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, so we got a weapon. Good. Kill this one so we can get that axe. Oh, dang it. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Exactly. Let's get this thing and get out of here. Two more. That should help. Hopefully, uh, upstairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Okay, wish me luck. Sneak up on him and kill him, but I guess not. Get him! Oh! Rad. Nice job, Lee. Now who in here? Open the door. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. Oh, yep. Let's Enemy. go. Bye. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. If she say no, then no. <laughs> this is gonna be a trap. Stop, just stop. I mean, she's saying stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? Really? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Glenn, really? Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have um, a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, <laughs> I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. You can't have a gun. Don't give we it to her. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. I can't get involved give in this. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be uh, fine. 
abyss. You getting too close. Back up. Please. Oh! Oh no! Dang. Oh, that's a lot of noise. Ooh, are they okay? I know Lee Leg ain't really all that great. She got the gun, don't she? Oh my. Whoa, God. take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. <gasps> Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Oh! Damn, that's a lot of noise. And Glenn will be worried about she got a boyfriend. Like, really? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go help. Larry, for he die on us. And here they come. Shit. Here they come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in. We got another achievement. Yeah. Oh, here we Everyone found. All right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, let's do this. We got an axe now. Can we check on Clem? How's your finger? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad. Guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, <laughs> no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I am doing good at this parenting thing so far, hopefully. I'll talk about you. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back at the motor. Back at the motor. Inn. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away. People do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess right. you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? It was a waste of a bullet. People can't give up yet. Uh. People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Did you know about the combination lock Do outside? you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Yeah. We got the axe. I wish your next What's your move? next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. All right, let's go. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. We can have to open this combine. I mean, this break this things. So we can have to get out of here, please. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. We had two bones in the shit. What about the noise? Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Get the brick. I can't reach that brick. Are you serious? Open the door, then. Ugh! Get the brick! <clears throat> throw the TV glass. Yeah, throw it over there. Smart. Now's right. the time. Let's go. Be careful. 
Keep an eye out, will you? You gotta kill him. Oh, maybe we gotta kill him. We got shot in the head. But how come he didn't die? Look like he got shot in the head. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Shh. Give me a second. Doug, damn. To finish you off now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry we're here. But knowing you were to take care of our mom, that helped. Oh man, I gotta kill him. Again. Oh. Not the long killing. Do it again. Oh, come on. Just t just kill him, please. One more? Yeah, always go for the head. Oh, let's get the key. Hey, bud. I got an achievement. And it says, hey, bud. There we right. go. Holy crap! Run! What now? <laughs> what about the pills? What the axe? He ain't locked the gate. Oh yeah, I forgot we broke the gate. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. Let's go get the, the the pills. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Surprised he's still alive. We took a long ass time too. Damn it. Oh, it fades away. You know what that means. <laughs> Everybody up now. It's dinner time. I hope they found them pills. I bet nobody's at the door either. Doug will pull the door. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, so no. duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my okay, truck. Okay, get the axe. Go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll Hold get the back door. as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Oh, God. Who said that? Okay. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We'll get through this. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! got time for this. On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, whoa! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Close it! Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! 
Oh man, it's just me now? She'll reload, she'll shoot him, and then she'll shoot the ones that... Ah! I don't know! Clem? Save Doug or Carly. Save Carly. She'll get the gun. She got the gun. She can shoot them all. She's a good shot. Yeah, shoot them. Okay, yeah. They go save Doug. Get them off of me. Ah! Ooh! Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Especially a good friend. Thank you, Kenny. Oh, I'm sorry, Doug. What the fuck was that? I thought my game froze for a second. <laughs> oh, God. But really? Of course he would have punched me. I thought he was already in the van. I'm back at the motel. Oh, that's a girl. Me release. No, no. Damn, Doug. What's up, Doug? I mean, Doug, hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Look at Lily in the back. <sighs> Who's that over there in the back? Y'all see that? By the RV? Who's over there by that window? I think that's the wrong car. Find your friends. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Is that a glitch? Y'all see that? <laughs> Just lost a member. Damn it. Oh, Larry. <sighs> Let's check on them. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true, but after what I saw today, 
I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I even got one friend out of this. Who is that? Okay. Where is Clem anyway? Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... You I like think him? that I liked him. Yep. I'm pretty sure he liked you too. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I mean, you got a good shot. I thought you needed the help. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Let's go check on Clem. What you looking it's at? Like, pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie, so it can't help us. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. I probably shouldn't have said that. Oh man, Clementine. And there he go. Thing. What, what you do you want? want? Oh. You like my daughter? She's fine. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. What? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. <laughs> when you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I should have just left your ass to die. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? No. I don't want to talk to you now. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Is this gonna be a love triangle between... Oh, that's the sound of us winning this thing. Between Carly and Lily and Me Lee. too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, hopefully. And the lights went off. <laughs> Spoke too soon. To be continued. Oh, God. Woo! Damn, that was a long episode. Next time on The Walking Dead. Should I watch this? I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? 
I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh, well, Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Oh shit, bandits. <laughs> Okay, honesty lied to Herschel. You and 36% of players lied. Mm -hmm. Would you have saved Duck or Sean? 94 of you uh, saved, chose to save Duck. Hmm, that's decent, I guess. I mean, if y'all don't really like Duck like that. <laughs> Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 48% of players defended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 55% of the players refused the gun. Would you have saved Doug or Carly? 76 patrols chose Carly. Hmm. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, God. Well, guys, that was episode one. What was it called? A New Day? I was thinking about instead of me just posting a random video next Friday, I think instead I'll just try to play this whole entire series all together so I won't have to play like this episode and then. Next Friday will be like a whole different new game. I think I'm just going to play the whole series, five episodes. And then I also got the DLC as well. So I want to see how this game does and see how it does on my channel. If it does do good, then I'll play the rest of it. But I just want to see how this game plays out on my channel. Everything is seeming pretty good so far. I just hate that it took so long. But, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, episode one. I don't want to split it up into too many different parts because then I'll, create, I'll be confused. So I just decided to play the whole episode in one. So next week, I'm going to play episode two, and then I'll just finish it, and then I got the DLC. What is it called? 500 Days? 400 Days? I'll play that too. And then I'll just go into the next series, next new gameplay, and just do it like that instead of just playing random games each week, because I'm, I'm getting really tired of doing that. So hope y'all like this video, and how can I skip this? I don't think I can, but yeah. Don't listen to me when I talked about the whole beginning when I chose to either stay at night or leave during the daytime. So like that, I don't know. We ended up staying in the um, treehouse. I didn't want to do that. But hopefully y'all like this video. Do not take my advice on that. Hopefully I'll pretend to protect this girl and, you know, be friends, make friends with people. Like Kenny and Katya and Duck. Hopefully they'll stay by my side. Hopefully. If not, oh well. But... Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for my social media links down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.